I'm radio host Carolyn Merriman at faithplace.org, and I wanted to talk a little bit about nightmares. Have you ever had one? A vivid dream that's really scary? Well, a lot of people have them, and I've seen in the Christian community what people generally do with them. One nightmare, probably they won't do much. They'll just pray and try to get over it the best they can. But if you've had a series of nightmares, usually you will think it is an attack from the enemy. It could be, but mostly the way he wants to attack you through that nightmare is for you not to understand what it means. He wants you just to be afraid and try to avoid any message that your mind and God might be trying to give you. Very often, the Lord will allow a nightmare because you notice it. Sometimes our dreams are just kind of bland and they're processing what we've gone through in a day or a week, little elements of the here and there of what you experience, and they don't have much meaning. Your just brain is kind of filing things away. But when God wants you to pay attention, sometimes one of the best ways is to have it be scary and then maybe you'll notice it. And so if that happens, if you've been having nightmares and they still persist after asking God to totally stop the enemy's influence in this, what's left, if you've prayed in the name of Jesus against the enemy attack, what's left isn't the enemy. Take a look at it. Look for a theme. Even if you don't want to look at the specifics of that nightmare really very long because it was scary, what was it? Was someone chasing you? Was there no hope? Could you not reach the people that you were trying to reach? Were you like running through mud? And ask yourself, what is this symbolic of in my life? Is there some issue where you feel like no one's hearing you, where there's no help available, maybe you need to look a different direction? Ask God what he wants you to learn from this so that you can apply his truth, his obedience to something he might be asking you to do, or even actually get encouraged. My daughter Emily had a series of probably more than 13 or 14 nightmares with dead bodies in them, and that sounded horrible. She didn't even tell me because she just hates that kind of thing so much. But as we looked at them, it was totally symbolic. God wanted to encourage her. She had left a part of her life that was now dead. It was a very dysfunctional part of her life. It was gone. And these dreams all represented, that's gone. I'm leading you into something better. He couldn't have communicated it to her a way that would have been more dramatic than to use dead bodies in her dreams. And they weren't bad messages at all. They gave glory to God, as a matter of fact. So be encouraged and ask God what those nightmares mean.